Good morning, it's me, and welcome to my day. I don't even know how I woke up this morning. Um, yeah, but I'm up. I don't feel super excited, I don't feel super ready for this run, but I told myself that I would wake up and run. And I did step one, and now it's just time to run and start my day. I'm so excited! I should probably start counting down the weeks to before I close. I think that would be exciting. Just, just for fun. But I know there's only two weeks left of September and mostly October. So, I don't know. But let's go for a run. Let's... Oh, I'm dreading this so much. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm up and I'm ready and let's go. <laughs> I'm on the hill that kills me. I don't want to stand. So tired. some brekkie it looks so good it's some nando's chicken from last night some eggs and some strawberries talk about a balanced brekkie it looks so scrummed and yum yum but i'm just gonna eat quickly and it looks really windy even though my fit is fire it looks like i'm wearing a one piece but i'm not but i just want to eat and then go i have like 10 minutes to quickly eat and then go to school Guess who made it to school on a Tuesday? It's not that cold, but it's gloomy as you can see. Gloom, gloom, gloom. But I'm on my way to my tutor's meeting and yeah, feel tired. But like I said, we're pushing, we just keep pushing. So I have a really long day ahead of me and hopefully it ends well I'm vlogging in the car. That's what I do. These people will judge you just for vlogging. I just finished tutoring and we're on our way home and we just started at, stopped stopped at spa to get bread. And I really had a long day. Mm, mm -mm. Started to feel lightheaded after tutoring my head here was like go 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 my eye this eye was like closing and it was like my eyes were watering like i was crying but with no emotions i was crying i thought my eyes were just dry because i have dry eyes but now that i think about it i was probably crying my body was probably just crying for help which which is why which is why I know that I'm so tired of school. 
and maybe maybe this is my last year anyways in one of my classes i had four students imagine out of 13 people i had four four students that's just how you really ask yourself are these students even serious about life serious about class but i think why students didn't come is because the weather today was ass like it was gloomy and then it was hot and then you just didn't know what was going on today but i'm not excusing them because this is my job at the end of the day i'm just doing my job so one more day of school and then i'm done besides it Oh, besides it being a long day, it was a really good day. I got some really good news and like kind of like clarified my masters and like what I want to do and like how I want to pursue my masters, which makes me very happy because I was just so confused and I didn't know like what I wanted, like where I wanted to be, like where I wanted to go. So today was a very good day. Like I'm so happy with the outcome of the day so school has really been kicking my ass in a major major way and i'm just like really trying to fight back and i did well today and tomorrow i have one of my favorite cl my favorite class i have tomorrow and i'm just gonna do that um try try my best to not cry again morning it's finally wednesday it's literally the last day of the week and i must have the courage to wake up because i knew that the weather was going to be a little chilly because it rained all night yesterday <laughs> and we have a running buddy today my sister i finally got it to get up and run with me uh, yeah, I'm so excited. The weather is so nice. The weather is so cool. Last night I went to sleep and I took allergies before I went to sleep because I've still been feeling really sick and I even did a nasal spray. So I slept very heavy, if that makes sense. But I'm so ready for this day. Let's go run and just finish this week off and be done with it. with myself like i had the best outfit on and then i had like a little stain here and then i was like let me wipe it and then the cloth that i used like the color transferred to the shirt and i wanted to change so sad so it turns out i'm actually like an hour or so early and it only starts at 10 so I guess let me just get some breakfast and coffee as well. And at least I know where like the room is so that I can just come back and take a seat and come back early also because I feel like there's like limited seats available. So let me just do that. And double check the program because I just checked the invitation and not the program. So let me check the program. blood before but i never got the chance so i'm so excited to do it i'm not like afraid of needles or anything well everyone's afraid of needles but i feel like i'm more 
I'm so used to needles by now that I'm not so scared or nervous to donate blood or get a jab. I've done IVs, I've done so many things with needles, so I'm going to donate blood and I'm so excited. Like I've always wanted to donate blood. It is actually quite freezing cold today like it's insanely cold and i really should be in bed right now but i decided to attend like some kind of workshop at school not workshop seminar that i think is really going to help me with kind of like my research interests and my like research topic for my masters so that's kind of the plan so i got this yesterday i'm gonna do like a haul of everything that i got and everything that happened because <laughs> wow i just haven't had time and i'm packing a blanket because at the moment it's eight degrees celsius oh and it said it's gonna rain so let me pack my umbrella actually don't know where my umbrella is in the start but i don't think i'm gonna pack lunch i'm gonna pack some fruits because it's like a lunch time seminar so they're gonna have like food for us and all of that so then I'm actually gonna go to school really early because my sister's dropping me off so I'm just gonna go to school and do work that's why I'm packing up blankets just sit there with my blanket do my work literally until six o'clock and be done because I have a presentation on Monday so I just have to make sure that I get all of that done Humanities Graduate Centre. I'm in a rush because I took a long time to finish my work, but I did finish it, so I'm um, excited to take some the tennis seminar. Let's see yeah. how it goes. said that i only found this out like late in the year like if i knew about this i would have gone every single day of the not of the year but like every time like people were presenting their thesis or their phds i would be there not only for the food you see the food the food was so good but for the information and the help and the freaking resources and the phd yeah, the PhD that the guy did is so like kind of aligned to what I was in interested in in kind of like economic extraction, state administration and uh, spatiality and it was so interesting. I really, really enjoyed uh, reading or sitting there and listening about it and I'm going to go home and like just read about it completely like from back to front and now i'm on my way home i'm gonna take an uber and i'm done for the week i can't believe i've been working all week like monday to friday i am insane and i really put myself through all of this like i've been like a zombie a zombie for the past week i've been like functioning on four hours of sleep and just like really working hard and I'm really just like trying to get back into it and I feel like I'm definitely where I need to be, like where I want to be. I felt like I wasn't working as hard as I was kind of last week, but now I do feel like my motivation is back, my discipline is back and yeah, I'm excited to enjoy the rest of my day and also my weekend because I obviously don't have and I finished my work so for the weekend I don't have to worry about my work for my presentation everything's done the presentation the like the essay for the present I'm done 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 the only thing I have tomorrow morning is a meeting with my uh, group for the presentation but otherwise I'm standing on business I can't believe we've 
officially made it to the end of the week i've had the craziest week you cannot imagine and it's only now that i'm getting time to sit down and <clears throat> sit down and do like a proper debrief of everything that happened this week so i think first i want to take out all the stuff that i got yesterday at the international scholarships partnerships seminar first things first i got this tote that you've kind of already seen me use so this is the scholar one of the scholarships that you can apply for and yeah it's to go to the uk it's to do your masters and i think it's like super cool so got it for free didn't have to do anything for it so that's like the first thing i got and then the second thing that i got which is probably my favorite is this tote from campus france i actually won this tote because they were like whoever so they were giving out different kinds of like totes and they had different things inside like some girl got croissants or something and then this was the last one and i was like i don't care what the question is i don't care what she wants that is mine and then it was basically she was like whoever's the first to ask me a question gets whatever so first i got the tote itself and then i got a notebook it's so nice it's like just lines Ooh, and little stickers bienvenue in france I don't know what that means. Probably means welcome to France. And then, oh my god, this is a bag of goodies. And then I got a pen. Campus France, Campus France. Thank you. And I can journal, write down to do, even though the year's almost over. I'll use it next year again. I'll definitely repurpose this. And then the last thing I got is this. And I was like, oh my god, like, what is this? And I didn't want to, like, unpack it or like deconstruct it off camera because i wanted to share what i got with you guys so i thought first it was mittens like oven mittens but now i'm convinced it's like a grocery bag tote bag that i try to read it and it's in france it's in france french it's in french it says fillet filet so let's see what it is yes yes i'm right it's like a grocery bag it's for like maybe like your fruits and stuff i feel like this is very european i don't know i don't know what i would carry that i would want people to see but this is super cool so three totes all in all and then <sighs> what i have in here is biscuits but these biscuits let me tell you these biscuits did not come with the campus france bag these biscuits came when i donated blood oh my god my nails gone oh that's the worst anyways it is what it is no it isn't that's all sad anyways so after the seminar i was like you know what let me donate blood like i've always wanted to donate blood i just felt like it was such a like noble thing to do like a i don't know um it's like i don't know how to explain it but i've always wanted to donate blood so i was like okay you know what after after we the seminar let me just go donate blood like it's two o'clock i have nowhere to be finally it's my time so i get there you saw the vlogs you saw everything i was there taking selfies i even asked people to take photos of me like you know eh, donating blood, you know so i finished donating blood like quick quick and the lady's like how are you feeling i was like you know what i'm feeling so good i'm feeling too good i'm feeling fine as i get up to leave my stomach starts like rumbling and tumbling and i'm like you know what mm -mm. my stomach is sore then i was like you know what? it's probably nothing because i feel like i definitely have ideas like my stomach's just always sore like 24 7 and so i'm like you know what it's fine probably just you know yeah. i pick up my like laptop bag and then i pick up all these other bags that i collected 
then i start getting like hot flush is it yes like i start getting hot and i'm like mm -mm. then the whole room starts spinning and i'm like <laughs> i think i need to sit down and as i was standing and as i sit down my head just like bah, like i just went all the way back in the chair your girl fainted i fainted like full on like i've never fainted my whole life i thought i was going to live my whole life without fainting and then i fainted and i was like <gasps> panicking and then i was out for like less than like 10 seconds like not for long and then when i came back to it i just felt like this like the lady was fanning me and they were like calling my name and i was like <laughs> and i like took a deep breath because i was like i don't want to die <laughs> I'm kidding but there was a moment where i was like what is happening because i've never fainted before it's such a weird experience but anyways i donated blood and they just sent me an sms saying three people are saved because you donated blood and you know what i did it i'm proud of myself that i got it done will i do it again probably not you know no but they told me that it was because I didn't eat. And I know you're probably asking, but they always ask you, they always tell you. It was after lunch and I think they just assumed that I had eaten and I had only had breakfast. So I also was like, I'm fine. And it had been four hours, which is like, you know what? I'm explaining myself and I don't need to. I fainted and it is what it is. But we got cookies, we got juice and we got a duffel bag. Or oh, gym duffel. I don't know. But let's open it up together. Oh my. So all in all, now I have four bags. Three bags that I collected. I collected bags and trauma. Ooh. So I can definitely use it as like a gym bag. It's like one of those. Like it's a proper like duffel bag. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is super cool. Shout out to the South African National Blood Service for saving my life. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I've really had a long week. I haven't had a Monday to Friday week in such a long time. But thank you for watching this video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.